Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our Family Care Nutrition webinar. Today, our webinar is about how to deal with stress and insomnia. So before we start, let me introduce our speaker for today. Elvis Ali is our resident nutritionist advisor at Family Care Nutrition. He is one of the first full-time graduates of the Canadian College of Nat Naturopathic Medicine. He is also the author of several books and research papers. I'll let Elvis take it away. Thank you very much for the introduction, Elvin. Well, first, let's get into the agenda we have for today. We're going to be talking about stress, obviously. We'll focus a little bit on the type of different types of stressors. One of the ailments that come up that we're going to focus on today's seminar is on insomnia. I'd like to get some definitions also so you could understand a little bit about our sleeping patterns called the natural sleep cycles. And then we'll introduce to you some of the treatments, some using some natural products and follow up with questions and answers. When it comes to stress, I'd like to just quote the famous Dr. Hans Selye, who's actually known as the father of the stress research. And he says, quote, it's not stress that kills us. In fact, it's our reaction to it, unquote. What he meant by that was there's a lot of people who do undergo certain types of stress. If it's acute, it's okay. We have a personal achievement, uh, certain specific goals that we want. So just a certain amount of stress before, but when we achieve it, the stress goes away. However, there's also chronic stress. And chronic stress is not good because on the long term, it could be very detrimental to our health. And why is that? Because number one, it could promote inflammation as a result of maybe neck pain, back pain. There's also other things that can result that are detrimental in the long term. Irritability, anxiety. Also, you find people who have a lot of colds, and this is a result of the suppression of their immune system. They could also be fatigue and tiredness and also depression. So when we get into the definition of the types of stressors, it's very important to understand there are four types. Environmental, examples could be noise pollution, um, even the air quality. Another type of stressor could be biological, people with chronic diseases, so maybe extreme heat, extreme cold. Uh, third could be psychological. And in fact, um, recently because of the pandemic, we find a lot of people who are suffering psychologically. Um, and this type of stress is attributed to number one is financial stress. Number four, social. Things like maybe conflicts with other co-workers, um, stress with relationship with, other, with others around you. These are the example of social stresses. So saying that, we will focus today on antioxidants, minerals, herbals, and vitamins on the four products I will expand upon later on in, in the seminar. So there are many effects on the body, not only mentally, but also physiologically. So mental and physical problems, if it affects the glands, um, basically it's known as the adrenal glands that sits above the kidneys in the back. So you will find people who have chronic stress, it leads to elevated cortisol in order for us to adapt to any type of stress. And also catecholamine levels increase. However, we also have non-immune related things. You will find now insomnia, which will be expand um, for this webinar. But we're finding now increased risk of heart problems, myocardial infarctions, hypertension. There's uh, more diabetes and in fact, people lacking sleep is leading to more weight gain. Studies actually show that almost one third of adults now in the past year and a half get insufficient sleep. That means about approximately less than six hours they're sleeping. And the most common disorder of obviously is insomnia, which 10 to 35% of people who visit your practitioners are being reported that they do have problems with insomnia. 
This slide shows a um, very comprehensive um, view from the newborn to um, seniors about sleep, what the Natural Sleep Foundation recommends. How much sleep do we actually need? Well, it varies from infants to the adults, the seniors, but we find that every night, everyone goes through the five phases of sleep stages, which I will expand a little bit on. Stage one, actually, is the lightest stage of sleep, but it's followed by stage two sleep. This is the stage that we are less likely to be awakened. And this is characterized by um, we're in a deep sleep that if there's any noise that we really cannot be awakened at this time. In fact, 50% of our total sleep is spent in stage two. Then we have stages three and four. This is also very difficult to awaken at this stage. It's also known as something called the SWS, known as the slow wave sleep, or what we call delta sleep. And the slow wave sleep is generally referred to as the deep sleep. So um, when we speak about stress, this can adversely affect not only our sleep quality, but also the amount, the duration. And as I said before, and I alluded to sleep deprivation, like insomnia, it may contribute to obesity, heart disease, diabetes, stroke, depression, joint pain, and kidney disease. Now, what do we have for treatment? So if you have problems, you can't get enough sleep, and we all know from the news and we're reading about the pandemic, people are not getting enough rest. When you visit your healthcare practitioner, um, one of the things you will find that they will start initially is called CBT, otherwise known as cognitive behavioral therapy. In a nutshell, this is a practical short-term form of psychotherapy whereby a person um, learns to change their perceptions and how they see things in life. So this can have a positive effect both on their behavior and their mood, but it's short term. Second, there could be medication from your pharmacy, um, recommendation from your GP. There could be antipsychotic drugs and antidepressant drugs. However, I caution, there's a high potential of certain types of uh, medication that maybe you could go to sleep, but it doesn't help you to stay asleep and it, you wake up very groggy. So there's a high potential for abuse and also dependence on taking pharmaceutical drugs. When it comes to natural supplementation, I wish to um, mention this is a form of prevention. It's not cure, curative, but it's prevention. And we do know about melatonin, which I will start off speaking about. Melatonin is a natural hormone. It's actually produced in a part of our brain, and it's called the pineal gland. And melatonin actually helps to control your sleep cycle, and your body actually produces melatonin after it gets dark. So it's maybe very low in the early mornings um, when you wake up and sunrise afterwards, but it's slowly, you know, after the day goes on, it starts to produce and the body produces more of it after sunset and at nighttime. It's actually referred to what we call the quote unquote sleep hormone. It not only increases the total time, but the, also the quality. And it prevents and reduces um, certain people, pilots, um, flight attendants, um, shift, night shift workers, um, healthcare um, nurses, doctors. It, it can actually reduce the impact of um, night shifts and also people that are, tra are traveling. We call it the jet lag. In fact, melatonin actually decreases uh, um, something called a hormone called dopamine. And that actually, you need dopamine that actually stay awake. So it has many effects on um, our sleep. It helps reduces the time to fall asleep. And also, you usually have melatonin working in the body with your body circadian rhythm. So actually, it, it's a cycle that actually tells you what and when to sleep, when to wake up, and actually um, what to eat. So melatonin is really good to reset in the body sleep-wake cycle. 
The next supplement is magnesium. In fact, we all know the studies, tremendous amount of studies with calcium, magnesium, good for bone health, muscle skeletal problems. It is the fourth most abundant mineral in our body, and it has a key role in our nervous system that helps to activate um, the mechanisms to quiet down the body and, and makes it um, relaxed. It also regulates neurotransmitters, um, the brain and the nervous system, example like um, serotonin. It also relieves anxiety and depression. And studies show that if people have low levels of magnesium, it may interfere with um, our emotional and our um, increase in risk of being depressed. It also increases um, in the sleep time and reduces in reduction in the early morning awakening. So as you could see that magnesium is not only involved in the physical part of the body, but it's also in mentally, emotionally, and really helps in decrease in depression. Tremendous studies that you will find coming out of um, Asia. Just to digress, mushrooms has been um, researched for many, many, many years. We, what we call it's very good in helping support the immune system. But for this webinar, they do have evidence of stress and sedative effects, calming down. We call what we know as a term, one of the properties is called adaptogenic herb. What it does, it reduces the effect not only on mental stress, but on physical stress on the whole body. It also supports the function of the adrenal gland that actually I mentioned earlier that this secretes um, the cortisol. So this is a hormone that helps our body respond to stress. So whenever we are stressed, our body gets into action. We call it flight or fight. So it really is very crucial to make sure that the adrenal glands are working optimally and really helps us to respond in secreting the right amount of cortisol when we do have undue stress. Reishi mushroom also reduces fatigue. It also reduces depression. We all know the body is incapable of storing vitamin C. So we need to take the supplement on a daily basis. And everybody's different. Some may need one gram, some may need two. It depends on your level of anxiety and stress, which is disturbing sleep. So it's very important to understand that vitamin C is very important as one of the stress supplements. Studies actually show reduced amounts of vitamin C leads to patients with more sleep disturbances at night. They, are not they may be able to go to sleep, but within an hour, two hours, they wake up. However, if they increase the concentration and the amount of vitamin C, that could mitigate a lot of these deep sleep disturbances. It also is known as a powerful antioxidant. Antioxidants are very crucial because it helps your body with natural defenses and supports the immune system. With people not getting enough sleep, as I mentioned earlier, that sleep deprivation, insomnia, can have a negative effect on the immune system. Vitamin C has also been shown to improve people with high anxiety and has the ability for people to be more focused. Vitamin C also increases your blood antioxidant levels by up to 30%. And studies show that is great because it reduces the risk of chronic heart diseases. And also to mention that when you take antioxidants besides vitamin C, we could also measure different amounts of vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E. These are all great antioxidants, even minerals like selenium. Also, vitamin C has been shown to relieve sleep apnea, which affects a lot of people, especially as we get older, people get more overweight and obese. It does this by enhancing the functioning of our blood vessels. Next, we have a product. Um, before I speak about active greens or greens in general, did you know the dietary guidelines recommended that every adult eat up to 13 servings of fresh fruits and vegetables? I know this is very um, difficult for people to achieve, 
And it's very important to understand if you are not able to achieve getting your right amounts of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis, then in order to ensure that you're getting, it'd be great to get a supplement that is called active greens. In a nutshell, um, greens in general have several good benefits. It's many people use it for weight loss. Uh, many people want to be on a low calorie diet. It's also um, abundant in carbohydrates. It's very, very important to note. It's very good in fiber. Uh, what researchers have found that a diet high in fiber protects actually against diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Um, just to define metabolic syndrome, it's a condition that could lead to many things like heart disease, diabetes, stroke, um, even high blood pressure. Um, it's important to understand that if you do have metabolic syndrome, this supplement is great, but it's important to understand that we do have to focus on decreasing sugar. We have to make sure that we get exercising so we get rid of the weight around the abdo abdominal area. And we do have to do regular checkups with our medical doctor or family healthcare practitioners. So we make sure that we don't have abnormal high cholesterol and high triglyceride levels. So these are all the information about metabolic syndrome and what we could do to help to mitigate the effect if you don't get the proper amount of fresh fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. Next, I would like to talk about, um, when you think about natural supplementation, it all helps about increasing the good neurotransmitters called serotonin. And serotonin actually is produced by nerve cells and is the key hormone that stabilizes one's mood, feelings of well-being and happiness. So increasing more protein. A lot of people talk about um, protein is very important. And also people are speaking about vitamin D. Actually, vitamin D supports mineral absorption and is utilized for hormone function. Studies have actually shown that vitamin D is beneficial not only for bone, um, skeletal problems, but is very beneficial for heart health, especially for those with high blood pressure. So other things that we will find that um, when you look at um, vitamin D, it's a very key um, role in the body in making serotonin. And that is very helpful in reducing anxiety and insomnia. So whenever stress takes away the nutrients from our body, especially the B vitamins or vitamin C that our body can store, a basic stress buster supplement is as follows. And make sure you take your EFA oils on a daily basis. Vitamin B complex is great because it's also known as the anti-stress vitamin. You need balance and insurance. So by taking a multivitamin with minerals, very important. I mentioned antioxidants. You can not only get it from the foods, but how much can we eat on a daily basis? And most of the foods that we have are probably denatured. So it's important to take antioxidants. Also important to note, there's a lot of gut health related to the brain. So taking probiotics has come into the view now. And with the research for the past maybe two dozen years that probiotics are very good to help mitigate a lot of problems because when we are affected emotionally and we affect the gut, we may not be able to absorb all the nutrients on a daily basis. And of course, magnesium that I spoke about before, a very key protocol conclusion of all these supplements. So natural solutions for stress. It's very important that we stick to a schedule. Besides getting rid of a lot of problems that we see in our everyday basis, it's very important for us to make sure that exercising, and it may not be able, I know we've been you know, socially distanced. We are told to stay inside. We don't get exposure to the vitamin D, but even at home exercising is very important. You could do it at home. Meditation, prayer, acupuncture, um, what I mean by nutrient-dense foods, which are natural solutions for stress, is foods that are rich in nutrients, but they're low in calories. And those are the things like vegetable fruits, but also whole grains, beans, nuts, even seeds. 
very good in protein. I spoke about cognitive behavioral therapy, um, even taking nature walks. Those are very important to get out, maybe very early in the morning and maybe, maybe after sunset, take a nice stroll. It's very important to clear the mind. Planning time with friends, I know it's a difficult time, but people have FaceTime, they could talk to their family and their friends and you know, grandkids that they have. Um, using adaptogenic herbs. Um, so these are the things that you see all in a parcel, but having a stress buster supplement protocol can help as a natural way to deal with stress. Now, when we get into, um, we're almost finished and uh, I'm speaking about how do we get good sleep? We all know that melatonin is needed and when it gets dark. So uh, caution to tell everyone, turn up the phones, turn up the cell phone, stimulants, um, avoiding alcohol, caffeine. These are all things that will get you jittery and keeps you awake. Avoid nicotine before bedtime. Stick to a schedule. If you get into bed by 10, you stick to your routine, very important. Also to do mindful base, mindfulness based exercises. And one example that I use is deep breathing exercises, where you breathe in through your nose, hold your breath, maybe 10 seconds, and then exhale. You do that even before getting into bed, like um, in bed, and then that could start the process of you getting into a relaxed stage. Um, making sure um, there's no TV, um, reducing the noise, which is very important. One of the stresses like the noise environment and also make sure that you exercise. But when people say exercise, exercises is very difficult. You got to stick to a schedule. So if you start doing, for example, let's take walking, stick to the schedule, get up every morning, maybe around the block, 10, 15 minutes and stick to this. And this is very important that one, two, three times, but try to do it at least five times. If ideally you could do it seven times, that would be great. If you are taking medications, please make sure this may be a long term. I know things are opening up and things are getting a lot better in the world today. So if you are on medication, it's best to talk to your GP or your family here practitioner and focus on maybe you could see their schedule of when you need to take and if you need to take more medication. So just to summarize, we now know about stress, um, certain definitions. Acute is okay, but if it's chronic, we need to focus if you do have insomnia or you have other things like anxiety, fatigue, depression, irritability, and so forth. The key is to identify your type of stressors and understanding the underlying causes. Because if you could do natural supplementation instead of um, using medication that may have the side effects with potential for abuse and dependence, using natural supplements like melatonin, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, exercise, you'll make sure that it will help you to prevent some of the unwanted symptoms of stress. So it's very important, and I wish to say this to everyone, please stick to your exercising, eat well, Try to incorporate a comprehensive supplement as well as a protocol that you could do every day because this is the best way that you could achieve optimum wellness. Thank you, and I will um, open it up um, for everyone. Elvin, if we have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you very much. For anyone that has a question for Dr. Alvis, uh, you may unmute or you may ask a question in chat and he will respond accordingly. Um, I have a quick question for Elvis. Um, uh, Dr. Elvis, uh, do you have any suggestions for 
um, because stress is rampant and very common amongst uh, almost everyone these days due to COVID. But do you have any uh, special suggestions for young mothers? Uh, because sleep is uh, quite a uh, it's quite hard to come by and are there firstly are there any effects of chronic sleep deprivation and then what can be done to remedy those kind of situations excellent question most moms not only have to focus on themselves but when you think about the baby the mother has to do the work of two people as you know with the baby there's a tremendous amount of studies showing that multivitamins i mentioned before vitamin b12 I know when I used to be in practice, I'm no longer in practice, that when I am now recommending products, it's very important that vitamin B12, very crucial, not only for handling stress, but very important for us to understand for the baby. In fact, a lot of studies show that vitamin B6, vitamin B12, as well as folic acid can mitigate a lot of problems that we still see today, unfortunately, called spina bifida that we expect that affect the infants. Also very important to know, there's a tremendous amount of research with essential fatty acids, EFAs as we know it. And we now know that not only it's very good, like the DHA and the EPA, EPA is very good for cardiovascular health, but especially for expectant mothers, the DHA is very good from a point of view of helping the mothers emotionally, mentally, so very important EFAs, multivitamins, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and folic acid. And people say, well, wow, that's a lot of supplementation. But don't forget the body is made up of hundreds of minerals and vitamins. So it's very important for the mom, not only to think about herself, but also to think about the child. Thank you very much for your question. Okay, well, Elvis, um, we have someone in the chat asking some questions. Uh, where do we buy these products? Um, if, if we go, um, there's, um, I would like to actually talk about our website first. You can get a lot of information. We do have other colleagues, a lot of information on our www.familycarenutrition.com. Um, the parent company, Nutrilab. We have a lot of information that you get on our website. Um, people have been going on Amazon and they can get the, su the supplements, they can get it through our um, website, they can get more information. Um, um, Felix asks, is it recommended to take these supplements every day? Absolutely. When I was in practice, and I've been in practice almost 40 years, as a nutritionist, I found out that it's very important that the body doesn't store certain vitamins. And I think the um, um, former um, person who had asked the question about, you know, with COVID, we now know that vitamin D and vitamin C, especially it's going to be stored, that we need to take this on a regular basis. If, however, we had no stress or limited stress, we were exercising three to five days a week, we were well off financially, very happy, eating 13 or more fresh fruits and vegetables every day, Maybe we don't have to take a supplement, but I've never seen in my 40 years of practice anyone who was eating and getting all the nutrients on an everyday basis. So it's very important for us to supplement, and it's a key thing for insurance, because when we were studying in pre-med at university, we found the body is made up of many things. Besides carbohydrates, fats and carbohydrates and water, we are made up of vitamins minerals and trace minerals. So I agree, um, and I know from a fact, we need to supplement every single day. Uh, Felix also asks, um, I'm re receiving acupuncture for stress right now. Is it good to take these supplements in addition? Absolutely. Adjunct therapy is great. I had studied over in China, and when I was there, I really found the basis of acupuncture is one part, and acupuncture works along what we call meridians. It helps to calm. It's a famous point called Shen Men, S-H-E-N-M-E-N. -E -E this is one of the points, but if you go to a licensed acupuncturist, they can find ways of certain points that they could use. Having acupuncture works on increased blood flow, increased 
immunity. It has many effects, but taking supplements can also help from a physical point of view. So taking both is a wonderful approach. That's excellent to do is adjunct therapy. Also, massage. Let's not forget, because of the tenseness, one of the things I mentioned for stress is inflammation. If you have arthritis, which means joint pain, or you have any type of neck pain, acupuncture, massage is excellent, as well as magnesium to relax the muscles. Any other questions at this time? Well, if there's no more questions, you're always welcome to um, make sure that you visit our website, www.familycarenutrition.com. Um, you can get a lot of information. If you want more information on products, you could um, do the Google um, on maplelifenutrition.com. You can get a lot of information. You could send in questions or you could call in. That would be great. Also, Thank you um, yes, also for everyone that attended, there is a coupon code sleep well it's a 50 dollar uh, coupon code of, available with free shipping at familycarenutrition.com as a thank you gift to everyone who attended today so once again it's sleep well and it's at familycarenutrition.com thank and you so much for staying tuned to our webinar and please stay tuned for our next webinar which uh, we will send you out some notifications as to what the next topic and Elvis will be there as well to answer any questions and educate everyone on whatever the next topic may be. And also, I would like to also say, if um, you found the information um, overwhelming, it'd be kind enough, um, please spread um, the information. I know Elvin was kind enough to tape it. So if you do have any questions, um, please um, pass it on. You could review, you could share with others who were unable to attend. Really appreciate and thank you all for taking the time to attend. It's very important that you understand a lot about natural supplementation because it's great for prevention. And one of the great ways that you could see you could help mitigate a lot of problems with insomnia that are unfortunately is affecting the world. So thank you, be safe, and most of all, be happy. Thank you, Elvin. Thank you very much for all those who attended today.